Hello everybody, it's lesson 41 of JavaScript for Active Design course. In this lesson, we will know new topic which is BOM, which is abbreviation for Browser Object Model. So the previous lessons, we understand that the something called DOM, which is Document Object uh, Models. Here, we will know how to manipulate the browser object models. So uh, what do we mean with BOM? BOM means uh, I means BOM allows the JavaScript to talk to the browser. The previous one, which is DOM, it allows the JavaScript to manipulate and deal with the documents. It means the whole page we have it over here. But now we will deal directly with the browser. Okay. So in this lesson, we will know the window and the screen elements in the BOM. So first of all, I'll create here a button. I'll say bottom. And in the button, I will create, for example, an ID. I'll call this ID button one okay and i'll say click okay when we save and refresh it's normal button great uh, now here i will call the javascript i will create a function and this function i'll call it function one func one and here i will write something for example in the previous lessons we know how to to call the document it's easy holder for example any variable under var equal document dot get element by id and the id which is bt in one and dot for example let's write it then we will see holder var dot inner html for example equal new content okay so now we have created a new content when we click, uh, we should call the function. I will say one click, call the function, which is func1. Save, then refresh the page here. When we click, it should change the content. Great. This was about the document, which is DOM, document object models. Now in the browser object models, we will add only here window. Okay, so we need the window, I mean the whole window. I need the document with element by ID. So it will do the same uh, action that the previous one do does great so this about how to deal with the window there's many functions that we could use to manipulate and to know the information about the browser for example if you want to know the i mean the 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 browser height for example let's say i need to know the browser height and width i will say alert for example and i will say here window dot inner height or width let's see width semicolon save it and refresh when we click it will present the and uh, i mean the existing uh, width if we need the height i will say the height uh, i will see the height inner uh, inner height okay save it refresh okay so this help us with us so with what we could uh, make a condition here if the window inner height is lower than for example one uh, one thousand uh, show this image the specific style else show the other t style so we could use this uh, for controlling the styles or the elements that we want to represent it with JavaScript okay the second element is to know the I mean to open an uh, a window for example when the browser I need let's click here open open so I need the browser I need the user when he click in open I need to open a new tab okay when click on this button I need him to open a new tab how could we do that it's easy we will say window dot open means open new tab save it when we refresh and click open to open new tab okay open open new tab great so when you click on this button it will open new tab great also you could use it to close the tab you could see open you should see you could see close and it will close the tab you have it already also we have uh, this about the window okay so we have resize and there's another uh, i mean another functions for the window but those are the most useful the second is the screen to deal with the screen so imagine that I need to know the 
uh, a screen width or screen, screen height. I will say alert means print screen width screen. screen dot width okay now he will print the width is the same as window dot inner html width okay so when we click it will show the width we have it over the and we could so also get the height for example the height save it refresh when we click it will get the height that we have it over the great when we i mean resize it, it gives you the the whole screen size okay so now it gives you the whole screen size. For example, if you, uh, for example, if we have, for example, I mean, shorten or make uh, the the width and the height smaller, it will not give. It will give you the full screen. I mean, the the, the system, the the uh, I mean, the device screen width and height. Okay. So this about the screen width, screen height. Also, we have something screen uh, color depth. It will print the depth of the color in your browser. For example, when you click open, the depth of the color is 40. Okay. The next is about the pixel depth. How many pixels in depth of the color? We'll see pixel depth. See if it when you refresh, it will print the pixel depth depth, which is 24, which is like the I mean the color depth. The, so this was the introduction for the I mean for the BOM which is browser object models about the screen and the window and we also see another elements in that uh, BOM uh, article in the next uh, lessons. Thanks for uh, listening or watching and see you in the next videos. Bye for now.